Greetings, and welcome to the Thursday Morning Vodcast Podcast. I found a leaf in the woods. Good morning, all you Billy Bumblers. How you doing out there? This is an exciting morning because we get to try Oreo's new Apple Cider Donut Oreos. Apple Cider Donut Oreos. Their fucking names keep getting longer and longer. And I think it's time that we sit down and talk Nabisco. I think it's time for the vodcast flavor, isn't it? Isn't it time? Maybe like a little bit of white Russian with some lasagna? I don't know. But that sounds like my kind of Oreo, to be honest. Um, I was out scouting for these yesterday, and lo and behold, there they were on the shelf, calling my name, saying, Jason, come to me, and I will give you nourishment, and I will give you pleasure, and hopefully a lot of views. I didn't even know this was a thing until I moved to Virginia. Now, I don't know if this is more of a, of a you know, um, South Central. Let's go with that. I don't know if these are, uh, were originally from South Central or if they are something. They seem like a New England thing to me, but I grew up in New England. I lived there for uh, nearly 30 years of my life. I lived in Florida a few years, too, but don't tell anyone. And so when I moved here and I heard of these, I'm like, God damn, I love apple cider. And in the fall, there's nothing I can think that I want more than apple cider. I see it for the first time when you go into the grocery store. You know, it's usually like late August, right around now. You know, it could be could be popping up any day. And and in that moment, just that that seasonal switch happens in my head. Sometimes it's also when I see the Christmas shit that they put out like nine months early. They're calling my name. So, of course, I grabbed them, and I knew that today we'd be sitting down and trying the new apple cider donut Oreos. Oreo. Oreos. You know, it's funny. It's one of those things where I've been saying it forever that, that I question myself every single time. I'm like, Oreo? Oreos. Because I'm so used to saying Oreo. I'm going to go get some Oreos. Never mind. All right. Let's bust into these and get a first smell. Mmm. I bet it's going to smell like home. Um. Oh, oh, that's good. It took me a second before it actually. Oh, 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 it smells more like apple pie, to be completely honest. And have they done an apple pie? I think they must have. Or, or if I've done an Oreo <laughs> apple pie review, I'll put it up over there. Um, if I haven't, then I, I don't know what the hell I put up there. Wow. At first, when I opened it up, it smelled like a golden cookie. But then after that faded, that initial like golden cookie smell, oh my god. I, I'm smelling the cider aspect of it now, too. Almost like that juicy, well, not juicy, because that would be apple juice. I want to take a look at the inside of these, because I assumed that it would just be one cream. But something, something looks like the, it, maybe it's a double stuff? Limited edition, oh, are those words? No, those are dots. All right, let's take a look at this. Of course, I forgot to run my second camera today. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I'm lazy. That would be a whole different story. All right, well, let's, uh, let's give this a whirl and, and see what we think. I'm not huffing the flavor. Oh, boy. Oh, oh fuck me. Oh, my God. I'm going to go right for milk. I don't want to say another word until I can say it all at once. Mm -hmm. Come in a little closer. I don't normally do this. I don't like to break the fourth wall. <laughs> if that even... Oh, see? Look at that. Yeah, that's trash over there. I just want to guess us to take a moment here. I've been doing these, uh, pro well, I've been making videos for about eight years. I've been reviewing Oreo cookies for a majority of that, even before the vodcast, the road to 40. Had a little thing called what's on the menu tonight, and that's how I would do these reviews. And one day, I went to this Happy Dollar family store. Here's the video. This is, this is a video worth watching. It, it, I don't say that about myself often, but I liked it. You might hate it. And I found uh, uh, an Oreo cookie. I was on top of things at the time. Like every Oreo flavor that came out, I knew where, where it was. It was an, If it was an exclusive, 
the date it should be hitting the shelves, and I'd be there, or I'd be calling or checking stock online. Anywho, I'd never heard of the toasted uh, coconut Oreo before, and I was at this weird little... It's gone now, but here's a picture of it. It was a... Uh, it was like stepping back into the 1970s. Every time you went in there, it was really just never been updated, the building. And that doesn't matter. But I was perusing their shelves, seeing what they had for cookies or snacks or what I could review on, you know, what's on the menu tonight. And that's when these toasted coconut Oreo came into my life. Oreo? Oreos? That day, I declared that they were a 10. And to this day, they have been my favorite Oreo cookie. I can tell you now that that is no longer the case. These are probably the greatest Oreo cookies ever made by man. I do wish, however, I had some toasted coconut Oreos to compare to them because I, I can't quite remember the flavor, but I, if you watch that video, my reaction, it was an instant 10. There, I spoiled it for you. This is un... un like nothing I've had before. I Sometimes we come on here and I make stupid faces and I laugh and I joke, but this is a time for us to get very serious. I found a leaf in the woods today. And this is the first time I've seen it since uh, I put it in this paper. And it reminded me of fall and it reminded me of the predator and it reminded me of these donuts. This is actually a poplar leaf. I didn't have to look that up, you assholes. Um, then it reminded me of these cookies and I was super excited when I found it. And it was just, it was a little bit more alive with color before here, I'll, I'll oversaturate it. It looked so amazing. And it was like, it was this beautiful fire hidden by the, the, these, the darkness in the front, but it was trying to burn through. I can't explain what I saw, but it just really just grabbed me and I had to bring this one home. Let's just get back to the Oreo cookie. I was distracted by the leaf. Um, I am just completely uh, dumbfounded at how good this is. Uh, my only complaint would be is, once again, that the, the, the cookies are just too hard. Like, I like a softer cookie. So, milk really helps it in this case. I mean, it still would have gotten a 10. It's fucking phenomenal. Mm. Oh, my God. I, I'm telling you, man. If, if I don't like to eat a lot of sugar. And I hope you don't either. But if on the rare case you're out in the store and you're thinking, man, I really need something sweet today, something that's going to remind me of fall, look no further, folks. These are an absolute, I mean, if I, maybe I can give them an 11. I'm the one that makes the rules here. I can do whatever the fuck I want. We could, we could change the score. We could, we could up it to 20. You know what I mean? 15, 12. Right in every single time. I'm going to do everything in my power to hunt down the toasted coconut Oreo cookies so that we can experience it one more time together side by side with the apple cider donut. I can't make any promises because I have not been able to find them in the last few months. Every now and again, I'll look on eBay and all the weird sites you can find cookies shit. Yeah, the, everything else you can find, except there's there's the three flavors that always haunt me. Watermelon, fruit punch, and root beer. The year before I started doing this, all those came out, and I missed that opportunity. So, or, Nabisco, if you're listening, if you could just release those three at some point in the near future so I can review them, I will have reviewed, I believe, uh, like 90% of all Oreos and, and, and a lot of Oreo products. I don't know why I'm bragging about that. That's <laughs> nothing to really brag about. But if you love watching me brag as much as I love making these videos, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon to let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. <laughs>